Hey guys, this is Versatile from VSC Power, now host on Project Phoenix Media. Today's video tutorial is a really quick overview of this freeware program called DVD Fab Media Player. And it's a really nice program because it allows you to play all different kind of file file formats on your computer. Um, it allows you to play DVD and also Blu-ray ISO files. If you want to play like your DVD or Blu-ray disc, then what you would need is a pro version. But for a lot of my purposes, the free version is perfectly okay, and I'm sure it might be okay for you as well. You got nothing to lose. It's free. So go ahead, download it, and install it. So let's go ahead, run the program, see what it looks like. DVD Fab Media Player 2. And if you're curious, I'm using a Launchy program to launch my program. You get it? Launchy, launch. Okay, so... Here is what the program looks like. I like the skin. It's very minimalistic. If you want to change the skin, go to main menu here. Go to skin. You got four skins here. Go ahead and change what you want it to be. So let's go ahead and pick that particular skin. So let's say you want to open up a file. So let's go ahead and pick a random movie file on my computer hard drive. So this is a recent um, video that I did the other day. And what's nice here is if you click on this icon here, let me just expand this window a little bit. You right click, you can have all these different settings here. Um, so go ahead and mess around with it as you like. But one thing I do like is there's this icon here called a, a preview, show preview. Or you can press F6. And what's nice is, let's say you had a long movie or something, and let's say you want to jump to a certain scene, go ahead and click on that, and it instantly jumps there. That's awesome. So let's press F6. Again, let's say I want to go to near the end. Boom. Booyah. It goes straight to the end. Or I want to jump to the beginning. Booyah. There you go. So that's pretty cool. And let's say over here, this is like a playlist button. Here you can change the icon so you have a little thumbnail. And let's say you have another video you want to drag and drop. You can definitely do that like this. And then once one video is done, it will automatically proceed to the next video. So that's real nice if you have like TV episodes or TV shows and you want to watch it in, or in order, you know. So if I double click on this other video here, let's go to the preview. Let's say I want to jump to like this section here where I want a closer look at my motherboard because this is like a uh, PlayStation 3 jailbreaking tutorial. That's pretty cool. So I really like this type of um, media player. It's very low weight on resources. doesn't take much space or uh, RAM or CPU power. And that's pretty much it. And if you want to mess around with it, you can go ahead, right click, go to video. Let's say you want to rotate it 90 degrees or or if you have a DVD disc or something, you could go ahead and mess around with the interlace settings or change the aspect radios. All different kinds of things you want to do. If you want to keep it on top, press always on top here. So then if you have your web browser here, you could have this movie, you know, in the corner, you know, as you're working hard throughout the day or whatever you're going to be doing. So that is today's video tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave, leave a comment here on the YouTube page and get back to you as soon as possible. Once again, thank you for watching. Take care. Bye.